Hi guys! In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and demo on the Fenty Beauty Foundation. So if you'd like to hear my thoughts, then please continue to watch. So this foundation is by Rihanna's Makeup Line. It is found at Sephora and it retails for $42 Canadian. The foundation comes with 1.08 fluid ounces and it is said to be a soft matte finish. So I am going to get into the demo and I'm going to talk a little bit more about the foundation there and then I'm going to wrap up and tell you my final thoughts on the foundation. So stay tuned. Alright, so I'm going to talk about the foundation as I apply it to my face so you can see it in action. As you guys know, I don't really wear primers. I typically just go in with this product from um, First Aid Beauty. It is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. I do find that with the foundation, it does settle into my smile lines when I use this primer or just a moisturizer, but it doesn't bother me too much, so I don't really care. I'm assuming that if you use like a pore filling primer, that wouldn't happen or it might not look as creasy, but I don't know, it doesn't really bother me, so just something to keep in mind. I'm going to mix this really, really well, and I've been using this foundation for approximately two weeks now and I've tried it many different ways so I'm gonna try apply it today using a beauty blender which is my favorite way to apply this foundation however I am going to mix a little bit of this NARS all day luminous weightless foundation in the shade stromboli because this is a little bit too light for me right now and I can assure you that I've worn this foundation on its own as well and it's really really beautiful I just don't want the lightness of the foundation to skew your guys's um, view and opinion on this foundation because it is a beautiful foundation and because it's too light I don't want it to like ruin this video essentially <laughs> but I have worn this on its own and it is beautiful on its own so I typically just use one pump of this and one pump of this if you use this foundation then you know that this is kind of like a half pump of foundation but if I'm going to use this foundation, the Fenty Beauty one, on its own, completely alone, I will use a pump and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. One thing to keep in mind with this foundation is that this foundation dries really, really quickly. So you need to work pretty quickly with it. Which is also a reason why I like using the Beauty Blender. Because I feel like when you use the Beauty Blender, you get a little more playtime than when you use a brush. I don't particularly like this foundation with a brush, to be honest. Um, but I guess it's personal preference. Me, not a fan. But I do love it with the Beauty Blender. This foundation lasts forever. I have pretty normal skin, but my cousin tried this foundation out and she has oily skin and she said that this foundation literally lasted her forever. She said 24 hours, so I mean, that's a testament to this foundation. And they have a pretty good shade selection. I don't actually have a perfect match in this foundation, so I do tend to mix it with my NARS foundations usually, but that doesn't bother me too much. I think 290 might be actually my shade. This is actually the shade 240, so if you're my color around my coloration, this is slightly too light for me, and it's always been slightly too light for me. I'm just too easy to go get 290 and it works for me so I mean it doesn't bother me that much now again if you like to take your time applying your foundation I would suggest doing one side at a time me I'm pretty fast so I'm gonna go ahead and blend this into my skin I find like this type of emotion what I'm doing so kind of like a press and pull motion is the best way to apply this foundation and again you want to work very quickly because this dries down really fast. And it does dry down slightly darker than the shade that it is when you first apply it. But even with that, the color is just a little bit too light for me. So one thing to keep in mind with this foundation is that if you have dry skin or dry patches, it is going to cling to those dry patches so if you have dry skin i would suggest that you use like a hydrating primer or something like that just to make sure that the foundation doesn't 
look so dry on your skin i did have a little bit of dry patches like around the nose area and i did find like it clinged to those dry patches but again if you moisturize really well use a hydrating primer that shouldn't be an issue This foundation has a medium coverage. I wouldn't say that it's a full coverage with just one pump. Um, you can build it up. Personally, I like the look of the foundation with just the one pump. And I'll just spot conceal like areas like that where I have a little bit of darkness. But I really like the look of this foundation just on its own. Um, all in all, I really enjoy this foundation. I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and then come back and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like with all my other makeup products applied over top. Like I said, I don't set this foundation with a powder and I find that powder products, I, right now I just have powder blush, powder highlighter, and powder um, bronzer on and the foundation set really beautifully so I did not need to powder and all the other products applied amazingly over top so I do really like that about it that I get to skip one step in the morning which is really really great um, my final thoughts on this foundation are I absolutely love it I do wish that there was one shade that was a little more yellow like this same color but slightly more yellow so that it would fit me better this foundation actually reminds me a lot of the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation which is probably why I like it so much it's a very very weightless and it lasts a really long time on the skin for me the longest i've worn it is around 12 hours and while it did crease in my um smile lines i do think that it still lasted really well and i could have just patted those um smile lines in and it would have looked good as new so i really enjoy this foundation i would definitely recommend it and again i don't think the price point is that high when you think of sephora foundations and this is by a celebrity so i definitely think she priced it really well and she has an excellent shade selection so you're certain to find a color that will match you. Thank you so much for watching guys and if you have any questions please leave it in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say and uh, thank you for watching. Bye!